The catalog of hip-hop artists from the South is as rich as the soil of the region. Southern hip-hop artists offer skills, depth, and artistry. Let's reflect on how Lil Wayne, Future, and Chica's artistry is monumental to hip-hop and the Southern origins they represent. Selling over 120 million albums worldwide, winning 11 BET Awards, 8 NAACP Image Awards, 5 Grammy Awards, and 4 Billboard Music Awards, Lil Wayne is one of the best-selling artists of all time. In addition to his own success, he's associated with some of the most recognized hip-hop artists today, including Drake, DJ Khaled, and Nicki Minaj. Lil Wayne's career took flight when he was all but 15 years old with the Hot Boys, a group of hip-hop artists from New Orleans, Louisiana. His debut album, The Block Is Hot, featured a lob from the Hot Boys and eventually went platinum, earning Lil Wayne a Best New Artist nomination from Source Magazine in 1999. His second and third albums, Lights Out in 2000 and 500 Degrees in 2002, certified gold and helped solidify his face as an MC to watch in the rap world. The release of The Carter, Lil Wayne's fourth studio album in 2004, changed everything. Critics noted the evolution in Wayne's delivery approach and compositional subject matter. The album was certified double platinum by the RIAA in 2020. The Carter II, released in 2005, duplicated the success of The Carter, certifying double platinum in 2020. The highly anticipated The Carter III sold over 1 million sales in the first week of its release in 2008. In 2009, fans saw the release of a collaborative project featuring Young Money artists entitled We Are Young Money. Shortly afterward, Wayne released Rebirth in 2010, an amalgamation of leftover tracks from The Carter III. That same year, Wayne released I Am Not a Human Being, his 10th studio album. Between 2011 and 2015, Lil Wayne released several studio and mixtape projects, capitalizing on the success of his The Carter and I Am Not a Human Being series. Throughout those years, Lil Wayne's style was described as gritty, rough, squeaky, garbled, leaning heavily on autotune. What distinguishes Wayne from other rappers is his uncanny ability to land searing punchlines in his raps while freestyling off the cuff. Wayne also is strategic about his studio releases, releasing mixtapes alongside his commercial projects to get the wheels of the marketing machine turning. That fuel added to his studio release fire makes Lil Wayne one of the greatest artists living. Trap music was alive and well in the South with artists Lil Jon, Manny Fresh of the Hot Boys fame, and DJ Paul from Memphis. However, if anyone popularized the hip-hop subgenre, it was Future. Other artists like Young Jeezy and Chief Keef helped lead the charge. However, it was Future who helped take the signature hi-hat snare and synthesized kick drum pattern to the mainstream and around the world. Called the blues for the 21st century by some, Future style heavily incorporates auto-tune in his delivery. He manipulates his voice and crushes his sentences to the point where they appear like they are melted together in an effort to make his voice sound grittier. This technique has given rise to the mumble rap distinction artists like Future have received. No matter what you call it, listeners clamor for it as evidenced by Future's album sales. His debut album, Pluto, was released in 2012, achieving number eight on the Billboard 200. Future's sophomore commercial release entitled Honest came two years later, debuted at number two on Billboard 200, and was certified gold. DS2 in 2015 came next and went double platinum. Future had three studio albums that followed from 2016 through 2017, Evolve, Future, and Hendrix. The first two collected platinum and the third gold certifications. The Wizard in 2019 and High Off Life in 2020 were Future's two latest studio offerings, debuting at number one and two on the Billboard 200 and certifying gold and platinum respectively. There is no denying that Future's delivery and use of sound design differentiated the South sound and heightened demand for what his Southern contemporaries were slanging. Chica, which in Igbo means God is superior, brought something new and fresh to hip-hop. Chica, born and bred in Montgomery, Alabama, gained notoriety in 2016 after publishing an Instagram post where she noted inadequate makeup options for African-American women. 
The following year, Chica created Ego Challenge, where she borrowed from Beyonce's song of the same name to promote self-love and body positivity. She also made waves that same year by remixing a Pride-themed Ed Sheeran track entitled Shape of You. However, it was in 2018 when Chica went viral after freestyling against Kanye West over his Jesus Walks beat for his support of Donald Trump that the track caught the attention of several mega artists, including Jada Pinkett Smith, Ice-T, Erykah Badu, and Sean Diddy Combs. Shortly after, the outspoken lyrical phenom then was given a platform on Jimmy Kimmel Live for performing her track slamming the controversially restrictive Alabama abortion bill, Ricky v. Alabama, in 2019. The following year, Chica was lauded as part of Double XL's 2020 freshman class, was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best New Artist, and an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding New Artist. Chica's 2020 Tiny Desk appearance highlighted her raw, cool, and impressive flows. Her content-rich compositions and tempo and cadence acrobatics leave listeners yearning for more from the Nigerian-American lyricists. Chica has gained praise from fans, critics, and journalists alike for being unwavering in discussing mental illness, bullying, sexuality, supporting queer brothers and sisters, the movement for black lives, and Nigerian life. Chica is an unabashed proponent of just existing. In interviews, she reminded our people how important it is for our mental health to take a step back and just be. Early in 2021, Chica announced she was taking a break from the industry, citing the need to preserve her mental health. However, the talented artist clarified her break was from social media and wasn't a full retirement. Even though Chica is a relative newcomer, this blossoming creative is a fresh reminder that hip-hop isn't one thing, and its influences come from all kinds of experiences. Lil Wayne, Future, and Chica are at the forefront of showing the world what hip-hop music from the South is all about. While Wayne led the evolution from the sound Master P and the Hot Boys laid down, Future took the rock and ran with it as he utilized synthesized melodic patterns to distinguish himself from other rhyme sayers. Finally, Chica is reminding us that hip hop is forever changing, never stagnant, and stays expressive. These three lyricists are responsible for a new sound bubbling from the bottom reaches of the United States, and putting some respect on their names is necessary.